Hello friends of Golf Course Quality Fertilizer. Uh, here's another technique of seeding uh, that we're going to talk about. And this is more of like little holes and pockets that you have in your lawn from who knows what mold damage in this situation, uh, maybe a disease spot where it kind of, you know, killed it, things like that. And so there's a couple methods. Uh, right here is a hole, right? Well, it's not really a hole, it's kind of level. So in this situation, I would just sprinkle some seed in there just like we do in the bare spots on the other one. And then just kind of mix that seed into this little spot. You want it mixed really good. Sometimes I go and throw a little extra on top. Just kind of blend it in there. That's a pretty simple technique, of course, once again cover it up with something grass clippings some thatch something like that you don't even have to move in this situation just kind of put some thatch and grass and press that down right there's that one method then there's another method now when you buy topsoil or bags of soil to kind of do pockets and holes and different things in your yard um don't buy the high-end super pretty bags a lot of times I've gotten those, there's wood and plastic and all kinds of garbage in it. I actually find that buying the generics, uh, just the white bag with a little bit of, you know, either green or yellow writing on it, um, tends to be the best stuff. You want to look for stuff that actually is soil, you know, and not have a bunch of wood chunks. So that looks like really good soil. So that's a good one. So here's another technique you can do if you have multiple, you can pre-mix your seed. So I'll throw a handful in and I'll... Blend it in with the soil already beforehand. That's actually a pretty good mix right there. It's a decent amount, right? If you had a whole five gallon bucket full, you'd probably throw in like six handfuls. Uh, each handful is about a tenth of a pound of seed. So something like that. Let's see, you can see the seed in there good. And then when you put it in here, you're just gonna spread it out like a paste. And you only really need, you know, half inch or so just to barely fill that hole in. You still will press it down when you're done. You'll still go ahead and press it down and make sure you got it smashed in. Right? We call that tracking it in. And, of course, you'll still get yourself some thatch. And you'll spread it right on top press that down once again walk away it's pretty easy to do that now one important thing this process should be started in August through September October November things like that during the fall or late summer portion of the year uh, don't do this middle of summer you're gonna have baby grasses growing up if it's July or June there's, you're going to have weeds grow with it. It's going to end up melting out. Even doing it in the spring can be tricky unless you get it down real early. And we did, we did some seeding this year real early, but we had so much rain and hotness this summer, it still got you know some diseases in it and wiped out some of it. We'll have to overseed it again. So fall time, like mid-August to mid-September, I mean, you can't go wrong seeding in that area. That's when you want to seed hole spots and things like that now if it's middle of July you got a hole or a pocket just take soil by itself and fill that hole just like a golfer does his divot you'll be super surprised how quick that thing will fill in throw in like a half inch or an inch of soil in that little hole or pocket you have in your yard and it'll encourage that grass because it has something to grab onto to fill that hole back in so during the season when it's not good seeding time only use soil and you will be surprised how quick those will fill in. Thanks for listening.